It is 6:10 on your Thursday, a much calmer start to your day than we had ending your evening yesterday. And again, we are starting to get damage reports in from the National Weather Service. We had uh, upwards of about a dozen or so tornado warnings around the area at different points throughout the day. Some at times around six at one time across the area that we were tracking. Our first alert weather team tracking that with Chief Meteorologist Eric Beasley, also Steve Sosna. And again, it's one of those days where we're going to be dealing with muggy conditions starting off. We're at 73 degrees currently, but it feels like 73. The dew point is high, but we do not have the dynamics in place that we had yesterday. That was a very very unusual outbreak. We have not had one in memory, in recent memory or distant memory, like that here. That's the Midwest type of a, a scenario that plays out where you get a warm front moving through, that heat rises, it gets up into the atmosphere and starts to change directions. And that spin is what started to trickle or tr trigger a ripple effect across the area. So we do not have those dynamics right now. But we are starting off warm and sticky. Afternoon showers around lunchtime could certainly uh, translate into PM storms around dinner time. So again, that will uh, move on through here tonight. Then we're looking at a drier and brighter Friday. Right now, we only have a few showers out there. Moving on into Garrett County, we do have a chance, marginal chance, a one in five chance, but that's what happened yesterday. Again, system started to move on through here and just kind of overperformed. But we are looking at the same chance of showers from, say, the 95 corridor, all points east and south. What will happen is through the heat of the day, the storms, the front that's going to trigger those storms is going to continue to move across the state. So by the then we'll be looking at those showers around the eastern shore, and that will be the warmest port portion of your day. 73 degrees our temperature currently at BWI Marshall, 76 in Ocean City and in Crisfield. Here come those winds from the west southwest continuing to pump in that warm, humid air. And as we get into the afternoon, let's time it all out for you hour by hour. We get into this afternoon, we're going to start to see the clouds moving on in here. We have some pretty bright skies out there right now. Again, a lot of that moisture just kind of pulled out from the storms from last night. So it will build again as we get into the afternoon. We get to about 2 o'clock or so. Here come those storms from the south and the southwest. We get into around dinner time down south of D.C. That's 97 heading down toward D.C. That uh, 97 corridor and then starts to see those showers move on over to the eastern shore. So again, south and east of the 95 stretch right around your rush hour home. We get into tonight. We start to dry out. Brighter skies, clearer conditions heading into your Friday and Saturday and it looks like a pretty nice weekend and we'll certainly deserve it after we get through all these storms. So for today, our highs 84 degrees up toward Pasadena, down toward Pasadena, I should say. 83 in Edgewater. We're looking at 84 in Odenton. Look for 83 up for our friends up in Forest Hill and Bel Air, 84 in Perryman, and 84 in Aberdeen. So your forecast looks like this. 87 degrees today. Thunderstorms are possible. Southwest winds continue to bring in that warm, humid air. 66 degrees tonight. Partly cloudy. Again, we'll start to dry out heading into tonight. I think you're going to like the seven-day forecast that's coming up. Angela Foster, it has been very busy.